play we'll play games that are like 10 to 30 minutes on this uh, this uh, series welcome to the drunken pond I'm Steven there's Maurice there's basil behind the camera as always Teresa um, we are back here with you tonight uh, Maurice has brought us a game from far far away Far, far time away ago, <laughs> <laughs> from the past, <laughs> magical from land. the the uh, beautiful age of 1997. Big time away. Big time away. Master Labyrinth. This is what he brought us. He found it for well, it was eleven dollars. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It was missing pieces. Labyrinth Master. Check out the dope art on this. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty. Cool. I do want to point out that. Um, this game did win a very prestigious Canadian award. <laughs> That's um, right. It is the Canadian Toy Testing Council's Best Bet Award from 1997. So can't crazy. do any I mean, better than that. Can't really do better than that. Canada Golden Geek? No. No. Um, what was that one from the Spiel the RAs? <laughs> yeah. No. 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 Spiel it Best bet. This is your best bet. Best bet. <laughs> best bet. <laughs> best game? No. No. Best bet. Because Canada knows when you go to a game store, you're like, I don't know, do I want it? This one tells you, like, probably. This is this probably the best, best bet. bet. <laughs> <laughs> kind of I think, is that why you got it? Was it because this is your best bet? You probably, yeah. 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 But anyway, before we get to the game, we got to get to our first segment, which is What's in the Stock? So I went out to, we went, me and Teresa went to uh, C Covington, Kentucky, yes. yeah. and we went to a little place called Braxton Brewing mm -hmm. there, um, right downtown Covington. <sighs> we got some wow. guava mango milkshake, Indian pale ale with pink guava mango lactose and vanilla. I so see if any of that's in the board. No, but the vanilla? <laughs> this would be yeah, right? something some kind of wizard would concoct, I think. Yeah. yeah. Or people would think he was a wizard when they gave it to me. Yeah, if everybody else was like, I'll have a beer, please. And then that guy showed up with his guava milkshake mango. <laughs> yeah. So like, it's, I don't even know what most of those are. It's uh, it's from it. their Braxton Labs, which was like, I think is their like experimental sure. part of their brewery. Because they have yeah. like... They have this, these are separate from their regular beers. Mm. Mm -hmm. And they also had another section that was called the, the Barrel House. Ooh. Which is kind of like, yeah, know, our oh. barrel house. But it's like, I think it's, they're all just um, aged in some kind of barrel. Sure. Um, that which sounds... I did get one of those too, which we'll have later on. That sounds like somewhere I need to go. Ooh. Yeah, oh, it's great. Their it beer was really, was really cool. good. Yeah. It's yeah. A very big. They were doing really good with COVID protocols. Um, parking was pretty easy. Yep. So definitely a place they have to go a, They have a rooftop. Bar. And they have food. So they don't do Ooh. food in-house, but they have a little um, restaurant. I forget what it was called. Something bison. I can't remember either. Yeah. Um, but it's attached, so you can order from the brewery, and then they just bring the food over. So nice. nice. Well, here we go. This says, this is Braxton Labs, a place where, I, where we ignite innovation, spark conversation, right. celebrate community, and champion create creativity. Braxton Labs was born to capture the spirit of the, of the garage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a garage, garage right. in there. Yeah, that's right, mm -hmm. it is, yep. Mm -hmm. where, uh, where Braxton Brewing Company started, located in Newport, Kentucky. I guess there's one in Newport then. Mm. Covington, Newport. Yeah. Braxton Great. Labs features a brewery and tap room to showcase the talent of our brewing team as it experiments and crafts small batch beers, uh, creating new products and styles on a weekly basis. Weekly basis, dang. A, at Braxton Labs, our beers are lab brewed. And Braxton approved. Nice. This is a seven percenter. I like it. Very uh, simple. Go ahead and pour it in can that can wise. Yeah, and most of their beers Ooh. look very similar yeah. to that. They so. like they picked a brand and just. Yeah. Well, their 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 staple ones have like better. Well, I like to say better, but like more oh. intricate. Oh yeah. Um, okay. Designs. Yeah, it's just their regular like twelve ounce cans. Well, yeah. they have bottled the bottles is what I'm talking about. Oh hmm. yeah. Yeah, but those, like most of their beers, have like a little image on them, like a little icon, but the labels are all white and the um, text is like colored, like whatever the flavor is inside the beer. So that'll work. Yeah. It is a Indian pale. Ooh. Oh. 
That's interesting. I smell the pale ale The hops, but yeah. don't really get the hops as much. Really? It's bitter. That's delicious. It's bitter, but not in a soapy way. Mm -hmm. That's what we normally get from mm -hmm. IPA. That's mm. good. That's good. I it's would order crisp. that. crisp. Yeah. I, would, I was, that's this one I I was like. thinking it was going to be like more like a, where it kind of coats your mouth. Yeah. You know, like real thick. Your mm -hmm. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. It's actually very uh, crisp and like you could drink a bunch of these at once. Beautiful. I shouldn't because it's 7%, but. Yeah. I mean, very what, good. Are, we, are we here to play games or are we here to. Drink beer? Play Both? games? Both? And we're all out of video that. games. Huh? We're in a lot of board games. I'm just saying. Indian no more? Huh? With you want more? Oh, I'm good for now, but... I have three more of them out here. But yeah, that's very good. Well, the beers I had at their, their brewery were good, too. So that's fantastic. I was, I was pretty uh, sure that it was going to be decent. Even as yeah. an, That's why I even took a chance on an IPA. I'm mm -hmm. like, you know, it's probably yeah. going to be good. They yeah. have a lot of IPAs, which I know we typically shy away from doing too many IPAs, as long as it doesn't say, like, straight soap on the, <laughs> the label. We'll take a chance. And he he liked, I um, can't remember what you had when we were there. I had a Dortmunder lager. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a Dortmunder, yeah. Yeah, so okay. yeah, it, wasn't, it wasn't IPA. Yeah. But um, they have a huge selection. How many taps do they have? Like 20? It was more than of that. Of their own beer? Yeah, it was like 40 oh, taps. Dang. Yeah, it was crazy yeah. amount of beer. They also do, in, they do infusions, too, when it's not COVID times. Hmm. Um, oh, nice. So, yeah. <clears throat> they That's have, like, fun. An infusion, infusion Check machine. out Braxton Brewery. Newport, Kentucky. Or Kentucky. Kentucky. Uh, yeah, the place where <laughs> we went is from Kentucky, but I, th I think they're Kentucky, so they're local. Mm -hmm. Delicious. <laughs> All right, so we're done with that. But is there a story with this master labyrinth? I think there is. Indeed, there is. I think Tracy's oh, gonna man. read us a little story. Would you like me to serenade you with the story? Don't of put Basil to bed, though. Master labyrinth. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I won't. Serenade. Marisa's is gonna be moving too much for nope. anybody to sleep near him. I think it's. Don't know that. It's. it's Once upon <laughs> a time. <laughs> All right. Deep That's in the I know to put the thing in. <laughs> Deep in the musty catacombs beneath an ancient ruined castle. Musty? Musty. Okay. The fabled amazing labyrinth is hidden. Here in the labyrinth's ever shifting corridors, wizards wander in search of the magic ingredients they need for their spells. You've got a secret magic formula that will make you the master magician. But can you get the ingredients you need? Other wizards will be racing to get them, too. There are 21 magic items in the labyrinth, but they can only be picked up in numerical order. The wizard who gets to item number one first may keep it. Then all the wizards race for number two. On every turn, the labyrinth shifts, opening up some passages and closing others. Beware, it's easy to get lost in the twisting co corridors. But if you can get the ingredients you need and keep other wizards from getting theirs... You can score the most points and become the master magician. That's awesome. Yeah. Great. Beautiful. Really puts you in the, the mood to be a wizard. Wizard, man. We play a lot of wizard games. Yeah. <laughs> just They're a the lot most of fun. Games. <laughs> Why? <laughs> hey, man. I don't know. I, don't I gave you four go. options. You could have gardened pandas or played wizards. I, you're probably right. I want that wizards. Is true. I always go. I always go for wizards, too. So. Mm -hmm. I think it's time to grab our signs, fellas. Grab it. I'm out of beer. I'm grabbing. You're out of beer. I have enough for a cheers, but that's about it. It's game time. <laughs> All right, let's get this a game. Okay. No. Let's get this game. Basil let's says get no. To the game. How do we determine who goes first? That's a uh, great question. The one, the dragon market one, it says uh, who goes first is the last person who saw a dragon, which I thought was pretty funny. Um, but huh. this one is the youngest player goes first. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I can move. So do I do the slippy slidey thing? Slippy slidey first. first. Slippy slidey first. So let's see. What are you even right. trying to get I'm to here, to bud? Get to number one. Which is so in the middle. Which oh is dang, dog! Gonna push right towards. Oh, wait, wait, who's who's uh? Who are colors? Who's who? I'm a blue. I'm a red. White. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I thought, uh, That's weird. I, I just we assumed that I was white. Nope. Yep. Nobody said anything. We got so. it. <laughs> 
Except Weird. Bez is blue. I'm just trying to help. I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, all right, there we go. So now I can move. The labyrinth Let has moved. Let get this. Oh, man, that was a good call. Good mm-hmm. job. Good, Thank good you. job. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my God, leave it <laughs> yeah, you leave a face so, so should, everybody can see it that you took that one. We should say the goal of this game is to um, the most Don't points. Tell them what we need to do. The goal is to win. We're trying to beat them. I thought we went over this in the story. No. Collect all the no. ingredients in order <laughs> to become the ultimate wizard. Yeah, but we didn't talk about how things get scored. Uh, yeah, and okay. Like what That's we're true. trying to do, why the move, the board moves. Do you have an extra card that I can show off? Yeah. So basically, you. When you get these tiles, you get whatever the numerical value is of the tile in terms of points. So you get to keep that, and you do have to get them in numerical order. So nobody can go for number two until number one's gotten, etc. You also are going to get these really cool. Every player gets the um, these little cards that tell you what you need to make a magic potion. And for each one of the magic items that is on this card that you are able to retrieve from the labyrinth, you get an extra 20 points, so obviously it behooves you to do this. You don't have to get all three of them, but you, for each one that you do get, extra 20 points. I got so. a whopping one point right now. One point! Woo! That's the extra You point. can use that to barter with later. So if That's somebody true. needs whatever those turd potatoes are. That's true. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I, I would be down to trade some turd potatoes. <laughs> okay. Whose turn is that? Clockwise or anti-clockwise? Wizard-wise? Clown-wise. Wiz- clown-wise? It's, it's oh my god, wizard-wise, wizard-wise or clown-wise? <laughs> that's, my, that's a much better way to say clock or not clock. <laughs> which one is which? Wizard is the normal way. That makes sense. Clown-wise is whatever the hell's you, wrong. Yeah. That also makes clowns. clowns. Yeah. They both Although, to be fair, the wizard-wise only makes sense with clown-wise. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Doesn't say. So, Maurice, you go Okay. Next. Oh, so he gets two points. Great. Yep. Yep. Hold. Hold. I have thoughts. Why would you have thoughts? Uh, I'm looking Don't, for number you four. You have to that. move this? Don't yeah, you have to. Every yeah. turn, you have this to do must it move. First? Yes. yes. Yeah, that's why I'm I'm trying to think with my okay. paper. Also, would like to point out that we were missing two of the little tile guys, three and 18. 18. 18 yeah. So we just took those cards out, and um, yeah, we're just going to skip three and 18. So. Mm-hmm. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this one if I can physically with my hand, body, mouth. Nope. Hold on. Wait. 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 Oh. I butch. I butched it. Mm-hmm. This. Yeah. Why would you move that one? Because I had a right thought. there. Hold on, man. I'm, I'm flipping, working on it. <laughs> get move something else and get two. Why don't you try to set up to get four? That's what I'm trying to do, man. <laughs> well, if you're moving two away, let's act. You're not supposed to give free advice. Maybe I'm. Yes. Maybe I'm giving bad advice. How about that? You're giving maybe real. You're trying to make him so, sweat. So real you're, normal you're advice. You're allowed to give advice if the person and, and you have to make a barter. So, like, if the person is like, "All right, I'll give you this token if you give me the barter." If they end up not taking your advice, then they don't have to pay you. I have a question so, for you. My, oh, With weird. the wizard stick. Uh-huh. Do I get to do the whole thing again? Yep, another turn. Oh, well so. then, okay, here's number two. Hey, show number off a wizard stick. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry. You have to move first? Or yeah, no? Basil, Sorry. why don't you give me a it break? It's literally just a Jeez. stick. Hold it like this. I will. It's just a stick. Stuck. Look at it. We're stuck. It's, it's magical. Plastic. But it's magic, guys, and it gives you another turn. You get three of these, and so, if you have any that are not used at the end of the game, then they are worth three points each. Hold, mm-hmm. wizard stick. Using one box. wizard stick. One stick used. What the hell was I gonna do? <laughs> Hold on, man, I got this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, that doesn't work either. I think I, I think I messed it up real good. I think I burned a stick. I think I burned a stick, Jimmy. <laughs> Hold on, man. I burned a stick. I wanted to do this, and I forgot that I move now. I move down there. Uh oh. To the Nomen's Land. To the Nomen's Land of Gnome Village. <laughs> like a big idiot. You could bring it this way, and then you could. Does that. No, because oh, no. then I got pooched Magooch over here. That's true. You got pooched that Magooch. You get pooched real good. I think bring I just burned my stick. That way. No. Because he still can't get to four. 
Oh man, I didn't do enough thinking. Mm. <laughs> well, okay, let me think about this. I'm gonna make it harder for everybody else then. Well, my potatoes, my stank potatoes, <laughs> are off the table now. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Well, that's what I like to do then is just go random. I've decided that's what oh, I wanted no. to do, and uh, I did it. Oh, wizard stick. All right, I finally get to go, yay. That was a sad thing. Immediately messed up real bad. I just realized we got a little garlic spider action, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> 69. Oh! <laughs> That's so cute. Okay. so hard to <laughs> slid out of my head. They have detached from my brain. Oh. A little garlic spider action? You know what I'm saying? No. I don't know what you're saying. Please never say it again. I hate it. <laughs> oh, oh. Slides so easy. Boop. <laughs> <laughs> Got ten. Alright. I blocked off Basil six. No, I didn't. No, you okay, didn't! You gave it to him. <laughs> on a silver platter. <laughs> no, I didn't see that. I was like... What are you doing? But you kind of messed my whole thing up. Good. Not being able to move away. Good. Come on. <laughs> hmm. Did you get 13 and 14? Mm-hmm. So toads were poisonous unless they were properly prepared. A meal of toads was thought to allow you to understand the language of animals. It really just made you trip balls. That's what you thought that. 14. Fire salamanders could put out fires and also protect you against burns. I mean... I hope they just weren't throwing salamanders in the fires. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh no, the turkey boiled over. It's where the sal salamander, salamander, I just, salamander. That is definitely exactly that. I just pictured like that was their fire department. Or it's just one guy, like, one salamander can come over to your house and just chuck it through the window. That should take care of. <laughs> oh man oh look each little guy represents some kind of element i just saw that there you go it's water bird well, that's why it <laughs> Bird. It's, 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 water, it's a water wind air and water fire Bird. <laughs> Fire salamander. <laughs> you, know, you know, the elements. Dandelion, bird, water, and dragon. All the elements. <laughs> Too bad I don't have things to bottle with. Could right. give you some hints. I mean, no hints. I'm going to go here. I thought you were blue. What? Yeah, no. you're blue, homie. I'm red. He's blue. I'm blue. Oh, okay. Oh. Y'all. Well. That thing doesn't move, so that changes my whole world. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bleak game. <laughs> Man. All right. <laughs> Be okay. Sucks. It's almost over. I know, it's almost over. <laughs> And Basil's going to put you to bed here in a minute. <laughs> Go sleep, Put us both baby. to bed. Go sleep, little baby. Did sleep. you move? Did you like, move. Okay. Put us to sleep or hold. Go sleep. Hope you're ready for this. Oh. There you oh. Go. Then I'd like to move there. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah. Setting yourself up? Sure. Oh, yeah. setting him up for the 25. Uh -huh. I mean, all right. Then I'll just go back. Oh, yeah, I guess you can now. Oh, yeah, because it has been a turn. Mm hmm. Although I'm stuck, so. Oh. Not an OSHA approved labyrinth. But true. There. There you go. Got it. Voice, the game has ended. <clears throat> the final Solid token has ended. Second place. That did it. But we're, we got to count off our points, so we'll go ahead and um, 
We're gonna cut, count off the points. See who won. All right, surprise, that's surprise. Fun. Basil won the game. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a rough game, but yeah, Basil had 114 points. Yes. 104 points, mm -hmm. and I had 96. Mm -hmm. There we go, third place. Yeah. Sitting pretty at third place like normal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that that's gonna do it for. Uh, Master Labyrinth. Labyrinth, and now that our, all of our brains are melted, because um, it was such a strategic game, but mm -hmm. though our brains are melted, we still have to do the review. Wow! This is a half pint. Yeah, that's true. So, Basil. Yes. Let's hear your take. Um, <laughs> all right. So, uh, I think I'm going to try to judge this on uh, me sitting down fresh brained. Right. Sure. <laughs> and, uh, Mm -hmm. knowing what I'm getting into. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed it uh, overall. I, I really did. Um, I like the artwork in it. Mm -hmm. I like the simplicity of it. I like how well it's held up, though. It's like 30 years old. <laughs> um, I like that it touches on all the elements. Uh, yeah. Water, bird. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I, I like the fact that it has these uh, extra little secret things that you're trying to barter for. Mm -hmm. That's a really cool element of the game. Yeah, so I, I like it quite a bit. I absolutely love the artwork. Um, I think this is an intensely strategic game. It's deceptively simple. Um, and I, I enjoy that. I enjoy that this is... I'm going to classify this specifically uh, in classic fashion as a fireplace game. This is a game not that you throw in the fireplace. <laughs> That's immediately <laughs> what I was thinking. You'd need, a, you'd need a salamander for that. Yeah, you'd need a fire salamander to put out this, this board game fire. Uh, no, this is, a, this is a fireplace game in which, I mean, you sit down next to a fireplace with a buddy... And I think you play this for as long as you want to, and you relax and you talk. Or I think three that's you for. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. As many buddies as you have. I mean, up to four. Wear a skin rug. Yeah. yeah okay. Naked. Yeah, preferably. Yeah. 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 Sweating. <laughs> Sweating profusely. Just really hot fire. <laughs> coffee. Yeah. I don't yeah. know why. Mm -hmm. Did you say coffee? Just coffee. Coffee. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee does sound good. Seat warmers. <laughs> blankets. Yeah, just... Winter cap. Sweating. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what we're trying to get at. Yeah. <laughs> that, that bear rug is damn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Go ahead. Your review there. That was we're it. This is a fireplace time. game. I like okay. the art. I like the intense strategy. And I think it's deceptively, um, deceptively intense. Yeah. I have to agree with all points. Um... I, I went into this game not really understanding or knowing what this was even going to be. Um, I do I, I really think it's real fun that the board moves and stuff because any game that has a dynamic that you can actually <coughs> move it around and mm -hmm. cha it changes throughout the whole thing is really fun. Yeah. Um, <sighs> yeah, like they said, the artwork's really cool. Actually, you know, I mentioned that halfway through the game because I was waiting for one of them to go and I was just like. I was actually looking at the art. <laughs> I was like, oh, this is actually really cool. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's beautifully done. Um, it just takes so much time. You mm -hmm. just need a whole big block of time to play it. Um, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, which is funny because this is this is a half bite. Yeah. I'm gonna cut it down because there's just a lot of us. I mean, the, what you're gonna see is not what happens. <laughs> what happened in the game because there's a lot mm -hmm. of us just staring at it, trying to figure out what to <laughs> yeah. do. So. Well, if I move this, um, yeah, then can yeah. this person go here? I'm cutting a lot of that out. This is gonna be, it's gonna be like 25 minutes, and you're gonna, you're gonna think it's gonna be short. It's not short. It's not short. Um, but yeah, um, pawn wise, what would you? Go? Ooh, that's rough. Wow. Um, I'm torn. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Why are you torn? Because I want to give it, I'm torn between 4.5 and 5. I I can't think of a reason to not give it 5. But there's something in your gut telling you not to. There is. Yes, yeah. It's okay. Though. We've done that before. Yeah, it's okay. Mm -hmm. With games yeah, where we're I like, think, we yeah. like it a lot, but there's something there that's like, it's mm -hmm. not, it's yeah. not a 5. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I did that with one, one of the games, I can't remember which one. But. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. 
because it was fun, but I can't put my finger on it. So what are you gonna give it? Since I can't, I can't, you know, verbalize it or figure it out. I'm going the five. Wow! wow. Dang, he goes the opposite yep. direction. Yeah, so I would go the four point five. Five, yeah. If I had any kind of doubt. I'm giving yeah. this a four point five um, for the reason that. Um, I mean, I, I knew very specifically what we were getting into. Uh, if you were going to buy this game because it was your best bet. <laughs> <laughs> that's it called a call. Yeah. Um, if you were going to buy this game and play it with unsuspecting friends, this is a game that you should warn people about. This is, you know, this is like the difference between like, do you want to play Yahtzee and then play, you know, or play chess? Those are very different games for very different people. And this is a game that kind of unsuspectingly is a chess. And because of how colorful and how beautiful it is, it may be easy to think like, oh, I'm just moving stuff around. That's not hard at all. <laughs> and it's extremely difficult. So I'm going to give it a 4.5. That's the only detracting factor is its uh, uh, spooky sneakiness. I'm going to give it a 4. Okay. Uh, four pawns. Um, because uh, same factors that you were saying. Like, it's just... It's deceptively um, st strategic in a way that might put people off. Mm. Um, it could easily put somebody off. Like, you're know, like, hey, you get three friends together. You're like, hey, you want to play a game? You whip this out. And then, like, <laughs> two hours later, you're like, what did you get us into here? <laughs> <laughs> this looks so simple. Why did you do this to us? Well, and then, well. like, yeah, so, and plus... I lost seven. <laughs> no, no, no. That's not a factor. I was gonna say, if you care about intense strategy, then it could take a really long time. You could have a player though, considering this is age ten and up, where you could just have somebody like Random chaotically chaos, just yeah, being yeah. like, Nope, they're not gonna sit there and look at it for five minutes. They don't care. Mm -hmm. They just wanna move the board. So a timer would be an interesting addition to Ooh, it. it would, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Like like in chess, yeah. 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 But it's yeah. You'd be sweating. Yeah. <laughs> but again, on like, that rug. I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm keeping my four because you know I I don't know this is not a game for everyone. Um, you don't you don't really know what you're getting into, and it's <laughs> it's just hard. <laughs> it's a lot of brain thought. Mm -hmm. Do you think? That uh, but a four is not a bad score. Before <laughs> you know, you start yeah. trying to say like, oh, Steve, you, you hate it. You hate it so exactly. much. I do not hate it. Uh -huh. I do not hate it at all. It was fun. I had fun with it. There was just Four's a lot a of me score. going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when there's a, when it's a game like where I'm like trailing off and like, <laughs> like that's that's another another factor why I gave yeah. it more. Like it was like there was a lot of points where I was like just you, sitting here staring at the ceiling or like you, you know you don't like, have anything to do. There's no. If there were more players, it would take so much so longer. Much longer. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. this game and does not scale. You can't strategize ahead of time like while Basil's going. Exactly. Selling, there's nothing you for you to I do. I tried to do that time. once in the yeah. in the playthrough. I tried to because I was like, well, if I maybe if I, but then they did a couple things and I was yeah. like, well, where's that? Yeah. yeah. And then they just completely like. Yeah. Which can be I, a con and a pro. Yeah. I really enjoyed that, actually. <laughs> like, see, you see, some players do I, enjoy that, but like, for I me, just that's love like... that you had to just be like, "All right, what do I got? Like, <laughs> let's make it work." <laughs> you know, I, yeah. I can see both sides, but yeah, again, yeah, my that, force to this, go. this, like being able to strategize on the spot, I could definitely see that as being something that you would enjoy. Like, all right, this is where I'm at. Let's go. Mm. But then having to sit and wait for your turn, especially mm. towards the end, because this is the game that's top loaded. The beginning, very fast, mm -hmm. very quickly paced. Everybody's getting all of it. But then when you guys hit about 13, 14, things slowed way down. Mm -hmm. And especially in a game like this, when things slow down in the tail end, that makes it tough. Yeah. Because you want to speed to the finish. You, you do. You want it With to be the opposite. You do. Yeah, absolutely. You, you want it to be fast or slower a little bit at the front and then once you get the hang of what you're doing fast towards the end that's most games are like that yeah. yes and yep mm -hmm. so probably i think that's that's, that's probably why it felt like a grind because you're like i'm doing this i've been doing this mm -hmm. i get it i'm doing it <laughs> yeah. so if there was something else that you could do in the meantime or ways that you could like maybe something extra that you could strategize doing outside of just bartering your tokens mm -hmm. then maybe that could make it more fun or <laughs> so this is a game that needs a mini game <laughs> <laughs> or <if it> <laughs> doing some over here or what i was thinking too is uh instead of having the moving labyrinth that's just like this having a little bit bigger of a board and then forcing people to be closer 
like towards the end, so you're like trying to go towards the center. Oh, of like the pieces labyrinth. get take off, taken off. Or yeah, whatever. so mm. then you're all getting closer to the center, so ca- play gets more chaotic towards the center because you have less tiles to work with, and everybody's Ooh, jammed into a. Very center. interested in taking tiles I, off the board. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's so, cool. like as but there are, there's, there's like there's every fourth or yeah, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, even every other one, every a tile, other one. A, sure. an outside tile falls off. You can't move to that tile anymore. I dig so. it. Yeah, that, that's super exciting. That would definitely speed it up a little bit. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just trying to think of like that's a great to... idea. Yeah, I like, I like that it. a lot. But oh, no. one of the other little things that I enjoyed about this game was the fact that with each of these, there is a little uh, reading you can do mm-hmm. for, for which may or may not be real. I think it's, it's very. I think it's stuff, sourced. Yeah. Is it real? I oh, think yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's really like cool. Yeah. The old school like things that they were actually used for. Don't take that rule book, rule book for granted, people. I mean, sometimes yeah. it's like, you know, you just want to get to, like, okay, mm-hmm. this is how you play, and then throw that thing away. This is why we, we try to incorporate the, the rule book yeah. into, our, into the show. Because people try. People yeah. really try, and it's mm-hmm. and yeah. it's and it can, sometimes it can be harmful. <laughs> yeah. Other times it can be really fun and, like, really puts you in the spirit of the game. So. Yeah. There's some really cool artwork on there, too, that I'm showing off. One last thing to note. Um, if you're going to get this game, this is an eBay game. And you have to get an old one. It's way out of print. You can only find this used. And uh, it's probably going to come with parts from different eras and definitely be missing parts. Every every game that I found was missing parts. And the rule book is from one year. The game is from another. This thing looks brand new. Nobody knows how. <laughs> uh, but that's just, if you want it, you know, I think it's cool. Yeah. But you got to go searching for it. It's like any vintage, like well, not any mm-hmm. vintage game, but a lot of vintage games. Yeah. You got you to gotta mm-hmm. piece it together sometimes. Yeah, it's like I like in our Dark World episode. I yeah. talked about I had to literally piece that thing together. So, especially when you're looking for like a foreign game, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe one day, maybe you should look up pieces on eBay so you can find those missing two missing I mean, pieces. Just you know have. what they are. You know what they are, and I think mm-hmm. it has so you can print yeah. three and eighteen. Eighteen yeah. is yeah. emerald, and two is pine cones. Boom. Just uh, got a printer, we so the oh, emerald. it was three. <laughs> was it three? Yep. It was three. You might 18, be able to yeah. find p- people. Some but, oh, I that's mean, what, we got the sorry. pictures on the cards. Yeah, yeah. yeah. three is so. oak leaves. Yep. So, anyways, uh, that will do it for this drunken palm half pint mm-hmm. master labyrinth. Um, please uh, subscribe. Make a push on that subscribe button. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Ultimate. Thanks subscribe. <laughs> like, comment. Use your magical staff. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Hit you, Hit it with your magic stick. That's yeah. right. You're, uh, you're a kiln-dried uh, blind worm snake. Yep. Pull mm-hmm. it out of the chimney. Slap that like button. Mm-hmm. And the comment. And the and, comment. And the subscribe button. And the subscribe. And, and the bell. Because and the bell. tell you what we're doing week to week. I post up a new episode every week. We're doing this every week. I don't know mm-hmm. why, but... They are. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody appreciates it. No, I'm just kidding. We're getting We're almost subscribers at 70 subscribers. We're on a, just a, a line. It seems like it was it's only yesterday that we were only like we're at 30. 30. Yeah. 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 There's a lot of different numbers. 30, 20, 80. <laughs> 11. We'll, we'll, we'll eventually be at 80. We have over 300 followers on Instagram, which is cool. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, maybe we'll, uh, we already did a giveaway, but maybe we'll do another one hmm. eventually. Yeah. Hmm. We'll give Who you knows? a gift certificate to our fans only page. Yeah. Only we fans. Don't, that's not a thing. Whatever we have. <laughs> that's not a thing. That's not a thing. <laughs> we didn't talk about the fans only. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> we'll see you next time here on the Drinker Pond. Oh. <laughs> At the table. <laughs>